Intel CEO Brian Krasanich is known for delivering a flashy, future-looking speech at CES every year. Intel has a primetime spot for its keynote, delivered on the night before the show was open to the public. And this year was no different, with Intel putting on a show that was impressive visually and acoustically. Zanich delivered several big announcements, and there was even a Guinness World Record broken. Here's five highlights. Number one, be the quarterback. Intel spent a good chunk of the presentation on immersive entertainment, particularly sports entertainment. Former Dallas Cowboys quarterback Tony Romo joined Brian Krasanich on stage to show off Intel's virtual reality technology. By scanning an entire playing field with an array of cameras, Intel can create voxels. Think of them as like pixels with volume. This allows them to recreate the field from any point of view possible, including the eyes of the quarterback. Intel calls it TrueView. Watch out for it at the PyeongChang Olympics. Number two, be in the movie. Intel also showed off Intel Studios. This takes the same concept of a complete 360 photo scan of an area to the movie set. Located in Las Vegas, this high-tech studio is going to be put to the test by Paramount. In an example shown during the keynote, what looked like a pretty standard Western scene from one camera was transformed into some sort of cowboy take on The Matrix when TrueView was activated. Number three, beyond the CPU. It wouldn't be an Intel presentation without a new processor to showcase, and we got two new ones here. First, Intel announced that it's developed a 49 qubit processor. That's a big leap up from its previous 27 qubit processor in the quantum department. It's also developed Louis, a prototype chip that's specifically tuned for neural networking applications. Number four, Intel CEO gets a new car. Intel invited autonomous car maker Mobileye onto the stage, a company that acquired last year. We heard about how the company is developing self-driving cars that use Intel Atom processors. But the big moment came when Mobileye's CTO gave Krasanich the self-driving car that he brought out onto the stage. Intel CEO says he's really going to be driving to work in this thing and he plans to invite some members of the press along with him from time to time. I call shotgun. Number five, big drone, little drone. Finally, to cap off the presentation, Intel showed off some drones flying inside the keynote hall. First, there was a Volocopter drone. This is a drone designed to act as an autonomous air taxi in the future. It did a short hop across the stage behind a barrier that I assume was to block the wind. Then, Krasanich introduced a new drone from Intel called the Shooting Star Drone. It's designed to be flown in a swarm formation indoors, with many drones controlled by just one person. Intel demonstrated by flying 100 of them in a musical light show performance above the audience. Krasanich said this was a world record for indoor drone flights without using GPS positioning. That wraps up our look at Intel's keynote. Subscribe to our channel and you'll find more CES 2018 videos. I'm Brian Jackson.